Hi everyone, my name is Michael Gall and I am Head of Customer Success at Scriptrunner. In this video I will show you our Scriptrunner for VS Code, our VS Code extension. As a first step we need to add the extension to Visual Studio. To do so we switch over to the extension and choose settings. Here we need to select the install from VSIX option and select our installation file afterwards. You will recognize if the import has worked by the script runner icon on the left side. Now we need to restart Visual Studio Code once. As a next step, we need to couple the extension with our script runner backend system. Therefore, we switch over to the extension area and modify the settings of our script runner extension. Please select here the extension settings. On this page, you have to specify the backend URI, including the TCP port 8091. Please note, if you are using a HTTPS connection, it might be useful to select the Skip Certificate Check option. If the configuration was done properly, you should have access from Visual Studio Code to your script runner. By hovering over an item, you get a meta info like the tags, folders, etc. You have the possibility to check in and check out scripts as well as discard or commit changes. For check-in scripts that are locked, the lock icon will show you that it's not accessible, but will also show you which user locked the file. Please note, this is an early version and it will not be published in the marketplace yet. You can find the download in the comments. We hope you have fun using it if you encounter any problems or you want to give us feedback, please write an email to support at scriptrunner.com. We are looking forward to your feedback and keep on scripting.